Hey, and good Saturday morning to you. I'm NBC3 meteorologist Molly Matat. Here's a peek at the almanac from yesterday. We topped out at 84 degrees. It was gorgeous yesterday. Humidity was low, temperatures were high, even above average, but it just had a great feel outside. With this added heat, though, we did see some isolated showers and storms pop up, mainly in the evening and in the overnight hours, which is a little uncharacteristic. Usually things happen in the afternoon and into the evening. So we're looking at kind of a mix of a weekend, a little bit of a toss up. Our records are far from safe. 96 back in 1933. We won't hit anywhere close to that. That heat from last week is on its way out. As for the weekend, it's going to be a little weird. You're going to need to bring your umbrellas and your sunglasses because we are unsettled, but very slightly, only a very small chance for some isolated teeny tiny showers to pop up today. Maybe a rumble of thunder by the end of the day or into tomorrow, but still plenty of dry time with lots of sunshine. So just take a little extra step of preparedness, throw the umbrella in the car and just leave it there because you may need it at any point in time starting this afternoon and into the rest of the weekend. As for Sunday and Monday, we're a little bit warmer and that's going to put us at an increased chance for some thunder. Once we mix that extra heat in there with these pop up small showers, we may get a rumble of thunder or a heavier downpour in there. Once we get them out of the way on Monday, a midweek cool down is in store. We are back in the 70s. It's going to feel very refreshing and very dry as well, which is great great news for our heat and humidity sufferers that are not big fans of this weather. Now if we pan out and show you the big picture, you see how these showers up north are kind of bending a little bit. They're swooping down and then curving upwards. You can see it in the clouds. This is indicative of our jet stream map. These are the winds way high up in the atmosphere and you see how they're dipping down. This is called a trough and this is why we're going to be so unsettled for the weekend. We're going to have any weather systems that approach us from the west. They're going to get wrapped up in this trough, swoop down towards central New York and then they're going to kind of recycle their way into this and that's going to leave us at a constant risk for some isolated showers. Not everyone will get wet all of the time, but the risk is still there. So we're just trying to give you a heads up to pack the umbrella and the rain gear just in case. Let me show you what I mean with our future cast at 8 a.m. We're still under mostly cloudy skies. Most of that fog that was around in the early morning time should burn off because of the plentiful sunshine. As we start to clear out, we just start to get some heat in to get some isolated showers, but you see how small they are. Not really too much of an inconvenience. They're going to pop up and then they go right away. Now the constant risk is going to be there. The future cast wants to put it south of the immediate Syracuse area, but any place in central New York could see some isolated showers as we head throughout the evening. We hit a high of 80 degrees and then we come down from there. If we do hear a rumble of thunder today, it's the best chance is going to be off to the west of Onondaga County. That's where the hottest and most unstable areas and that'll be just enough extra push to get some rumbles of thunder. So if you want to spend time outside, you have an outdoor party, maybe a family reunion, don't cancel it yet. Still plenty of dry time, but there will be some spotty showers around, so you might want to plan a very brief indoor alternative. Have everyone get into the garage real quick, wait for it to pass, and then you should be in the clear. If you're heading off to the golf course, it will be the earliest tea time is probably best. You may get caught in a small shower as, as early as noon or as late as 3 p.m., so just keep that in mind. We remain unsettled into Sunday. A better chance for thunder as we get that extra heat. We climb to 86 degrees by early Monday afternoon. This is when our most organized weather system is going to push its way through. We get one blast blast of heat and humidity and then it sweeps through and clears out. Look at this cool down for the rest of the week. Just an isolated chance for a shower on Tuesday. Nice, dry and cool for Wednesday. Very refreshing. We start to get a little bit unsettled into Thursday and Friday, but the risk for showers is ultimately pretty low.